Dad, how do planes keep the cabin full of air when they're flying way above the clouds? Shouldn't we all be passing out? We would, if engineers hadn't figured out how to pressurize the cabin. At 35,000 feet, the air pressure is about a quarter of what it is at sea level. That's not enough to keep your lungs or your brain happy. So where do they get the air from? Do they carry big tanks or something? Nope. They tap it right off the jet engines, specifically from a part called the compressor stage. Wait, the engines? Isn't that air super hot? Yep. The air gets compressed and heated. So before it enters the cabin, it goes through heat exchangers and air cycle machines to cool it down and regulate pressure. So they're just stealing engine air and filtering it? More like conditioning it. That system's called the Environmental Control System, or ECS. It's in charge of temperature, pressure, and humidity in the cabin. What keeps it from overpressurizing and popping the plane like a balloon? Great question. The fuselage is designed to handle specific pressure differentials, usually around eight pounds per square inch. So engineers use outflow valves to constantly bleed off just enough air to maintain the right cabin pressure. So the plane's leaking on purpose? Yep. Controlled leaks. It's like letting air out of a balloon just enough so it doesn't pop, but still keeps you conscious. All this just so I can watch a movie in a flying tube? That, and so you don't black out when ordering a Sprite at 35,000 feet.